Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, of course. And today I just wanted to sit down and give you some thoughts on a couple of different books I've been reading for my witch journey. It was, you know, a little bit overwhelming, but I kind of just go with whatever calls out to me. Try not to think about it so much. I'm actually going to make this a series because there are more books. There will probably be three or four parts to this from me trying to find material that it might be helpful to have a review on a couple books that I feel like other people might be interested in purchasing. Before we get into the book reviews, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'd really, really appreciate it. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be talking about four books today. Spellcrafting by Erin Murphy Hiscock and The Green Witch by Erin Murphy Hiscock. Everyday Magic by Samira Hacksever and The Spellbook for New Witches, Essential Spells to Change Your Life. I forgot to write down the author for that. There are two that I returned that I'm gonna put up here for you guys to see. So first we're gonna talk about Erin. When you look up books, I feel like she is one of the most popular that'll come up in your Google searches and stuff like that. And a lot of her books have great reviews. When I'm looking to buy a book, I always check Goodreads and then and Amazon as well. I got this one, spell, spell Crafting, Strengthen the Power of Your Craft by Creating and Casting Your Own Unique Spells. I purchased this one after I got her other book, The Green Witch. I had to return it. I couldn't even make it through the book. I'm so sorry, but to me, it was really, really boring. I just, I couldn't get through it. I think as well, this is how I found out I wasn't a green witch. I assumed that I would be, but upon further research, I knew a green witch is just not for me. Reading all of these books and stuff, I feel like I identify most as an eclectic witch. You have to know that you're a green witch in order to get into it. Like it tells you exactly what you need to do instead of letting you explore. So if you're just a if you're a baby witch and want to explore all your different options, that one is not for you. I would get that book after you find out if you're a green witch. Then I got this one. To be honest, I grabbed it like off the shelf. I got this at Barnes and Nobles. Was very drawn to it just because of the shape of the book and then the pentacle and I just loved it a lot. And I didn't even notice until I had already checked out that it was by the same author. Everything happens for a reason. And this book is so, 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 so good. Even though it's about spell crafting, which I feel like is more, I don't know how to say, like deeper into the witchcraft world, you know, um, I just found this book very, very interesting. Uh, she does talk about, you know, different things in this book it's, and it's not very like telling you what to do. She's, she lets you explore. Like the nerd I am, I did have these note cards and stuff in here and I just, it, it's a really good book. Like I said, I found it very, very interesting. I think if you're interested in spell crafting, this is a great book to start off with. Like it has examples of spells, but it's about you being able to understand what spell crafting is, um, different things you can use in your spell crafting, and letting you make your own journey. And I love this. It helped me feel a lot more confident in my spell casting. But yes, I loved this book. And now for the last two books, like I'm very interested in spell crafting. I thought it would be nice to get a book with just spells in it even though I had read this one first and knew I could create my own spells, I just was really interested to see other spells. I got the spell book for New Witches. It has great reviews on Amazon. It specifically says New Witches. So, uh, you know, I was very excited to buy it. And again, I'm sorry, but to me, it was a flop. Like, it was very boring. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. But it was just, I didn't find it interesting. And then the 
bells that are in there kind of like I mean she gives very detailed description but at the same time you don't exactly know why you're doing this spell in a certain type of way and after I got spoiled with the spell crafting book I just it I did not like it I couldn't make it through the book and I ended up returning that one as well. It's funny because six months ago I got my first magic book and it's this one by Samira. It's called Everyday Magic Rituals, Spells, and Potions to Live Your Best Life. So this one is my very first book so I feel like I'm a little biased because this is what kind of opened my eyes a little bit. I, I feel a deep connection to this book makes me very happy. This is a spell book as well and she does not go very deeply into like the history of magic and stuff like she has little info things like and how to build your altar and stuff and I learned about you know how to set up my pentacle and stuff like that and how to cast a circle but again it didn't really give me explanation on like why you would call on to the spirits for protection and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm a Virgo and I like very detailed information which is kind of funny considering I said the other two books were boring but I do enjoy like learning why I'm doing something a certain way. As a starting off book I don't think I'd recommend this one. I love it just because it it got me really really interested like i was just at some store here in raleigh and i saw it it called out to me and i bought it and this is what was my sign to delve deeper into the um witch world so i i feel like your first book is kind of like just is something that shouldn't overwhelm you and this wasn't overwhelming for me. I like that in this book she's not telling you what to do, how to do it. I feel like your journey should be your own and you should be able to experiment with different things until you find something you like. I like that this book gave me that option. I also just don't like being told what to do so that might be another reason. As a first book, eh, because I don't, I don't think that casting spells should be your first thing when you are interested in witchcraft. Uh, that's just me personally. Uh, so a spell book as your first thing, maybe because it interests you, yeah, but to actually cast spells like as a new witch, not knowing why you're using basil or why you have to do it on a Tuesday or just just stuff like that like I feel like when you know why you're doing what you're doing you have a greater understanding which makes you feel more confident in yourself which makes the spell casting experience a lot um, easier like you don't need this one but this one you need you need this that is all I have for this week's video if you have any questions or comments Please leave them down below. I would love to answer them or even open a dialogue with you guys and, and talk about books and maybe you have some recommendations that I can try out. But yeah, like I said, look out for part two, part three, maybe part four, we'll see. I am very excited about sharing my journey with you. I feel like witchcraft has changed my life for the better. I it's something that makes me very happy and keeps me very sane. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.